Welcome to Real Issues Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn, and Seth Curry has came out and said that Ben Simmons doesn't need a jump shot to be unstoppable. To be honest, I think that it's all mental for Ben Simmons. I think that Ben Simmons really needs to get back in the gym and focus on basketball. I know that he had the back surgery and everything like that, but I think, to be honest, Ben Simmons really folded because he has told the NBA that he is weak mentally. He has a weak mindset. And one thing about life is if you have a weak mindset, it's very hard for you to accomplish things in life, especially something like the NBA where you're working out, you have to perform. Everything in the NBA is about performance. If you cannot perform, you will not last long in the NBA. So in my opinion, I think that Ben Simmons really needs to work on his mentality in terms of getting back in the gym. He doesn't have to be a great shooter. I don't think that he has to be a knockdown shooter. However, when you get into the playoffs and you start playing these teams that will focus in on your game, you're going to have to figure out different ways to put the ball in the basket. And if they know you won't shoot, if they know that you don't have the willingness to shoot, if they know that you don't have the mentality or the mental mindset to even shoot the basketball, I don't think Ben Simmons can get that far in the NBA. I think Ben Simmons is a great defender, great rebounder. He's a great player overall. I think that he's a he's definitely a great future prospect in the NBA. However, I think that his mentality and his mental mind state and his uh, quote unquote mental health needs a lot of work because at the end of the day, these teams in the NBA, when it's time to win, when it's time in those pivotal moments in the playoffs, teams will focus in on you. And if your teammates can't trust you to shoot or to put the ball in the basket because you're afraid to shoot or because of your overthinking or whatever the case may be, I think that that's a detriment to any team. But overall, I think he's a great player. And Seth Curry does have a point. He doesn't need a jump shot to be unstoppable. However, I think he needs to be able to shoot the ball. Because at the end of the day, this is basketball and it's about buckets. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Does Ben Simmons need a shot or a three-point shot to be unstoppable in the NBA? Do you guys think that he can get away with his whole career without shooting the basketball in a jump shot style? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe.